<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look, or better said, a quick look at the Dream Gear My Wheel. Better said, this is a plug and play device that you can pick up. I think you can pick it up new. They are like second hand. You can find them here and there on eBay. But I just want to take a close look at it today. Here on the channel I review all kinds of game systems and this is one of those weird ones that I just need to pick up. I'm just going to be honest, I have no idea where I picked it up. I think I picked it up a very long time ago. But what you're going to get basically is this very tiny wheel. That's actually like a wheel. So I'm curious what kind of games that we can play with it. It goes with all the function buttons, A, B. We do have turbo buttons. And it's kind of interesting the way you have like an A, B over here. The wheel is a little bit filthy and yeah, it's also kind of sticky. I don't know if that is like because it's so filthy so we're going to clean it up so at the bottom part we do have the compartment for the batteries we're going to get ourselves four double a batteries inside so let's take a look at what the name says here so this is the dg yuan 858 so of course made in china and dreamgear.net so i reviewed all kinds of products from this company and most of the time we're going to get a bit but sometimes we're going to get something differently Okay, so here we have like this wet cleaning cloth. Basically what you're going to do with it is like, they are like removing makeup. And yeah, I don't know, depending where you live, we have the action here. And we can buy these things in pack for not a lot of money. The only thing that I'm going to do is basically like rub it over here and clean it all up before I'm going to make the video. Because, oh man, this thing is sticky. I don't know what happened with the previous owners, but... It's all kind of dust on it, and these things are just cleaning very nicely. I'm also using it for my normal controller, simply because when you're going to do this like this way, you can just clean out all of the residue. You can see some yellow weird thing going on. I just put my fingernail in it, slide it all the way over here, so we can get all of the filth between the shells. And that's the only thing, so just clean it up for, a, let's say, a couple of minutes, get all the filth off. And yeah, especially I do always doing this when it comes to, let's say, second-hand controllers, because man, some of those are like freaking, freaking dirty. So let's continue cleaning and let's plug this thing in. But the main reason why this thing is so sticky, I can already seen when I try to clean it up. This is not like a very aggressive, uh, let's say, cleaning in it. But the main problem what you're going to get with this is like, this is kind of a rubber compound and it will get loose here. You can see some damage over here. When you're going to basically clean it up, you can see all kinds of yellow here on the cleaning cloth. So that's also the reason why it's mainly sticky, because the rubber or the compound is getting sticky in general. Okay, the interesting thing is when you're looking at the sticker over here, it's kind of hilarious. Changing batteries, if game picture quality lessens. All right, so in other words, you're like, if you're losing signal, we need to change the batteries. We do have the on and off switch over here. There, it seems to be like the mold was ready for a power supply input, but they disabled that part. All right, so I've checked the batteries. It seems to be they're working. Let's turn it on. Let's see if there's an LED indication at front. Yeah, normally I think this needs to be like turning on and off. All right, so let's plug it in and otherwise I'm going to get some different batteries. All right, so we're messing around with this device. Yeah, we finally got it to work because the battery compartment did have some leak damage of the freaking batteries. So this is basically what we're going to get, classic and racing games. And I'm curious how good this actually works. So let's press the start. There is no music whatsoever. So this thing looks actually like an old school 8-bit system. And indeed, we're going to get some weird looking games or at least the names. Zero, Tiger, Wissan, Pinball Track. To be honest, there is no single game that I know. So let's start with Arrow Engine and see how this actually works. All right, managed to get the sound working. And this basically feels like a weird Gradius clone without any power-ups. Or do we get power-ups? No, nope, we're not going to get power-ups. Man, I love the freaking turbo button. Ah, yes, we got freaking awesome like power-ups. But you can see like the signal quality is an overall okay. Like. The racing part doesn't do anything, you're just using the D-pad. So what's the point of this freaking thing? Let's press reset. Ah, and also there we're going to get the music. <laughs> Big racing. <sighs> Alright, let's see. 
we can actually like play this. I think the idea behind it is that like we're having A and B over here. We can just use it like this. All right, so let's see if we can actually use the freaking racing wheel itself. Wow, that was some pretty damn slow countdowns, but also this game doesn't do anything. You know, that makes you wonder like, <laughs> why is this thing actually a racing wheel? Birdie nest. Okay, that can... You know what, what the hell is this? He shits on your on your hand. Well, no, he's just dropping eggs. Oh boy. Yeah, you can catch his shit. Bullfighter. All right. And another game that doesn't work with. So the configuration of the bot's quite interesting. We do have like a double turbo because that's basically what the black buttons are here for. But unfortunate, this thing doesn't even work with the freaking stupid steering wheel. Firefighter. Like, I cannot change, I cannot really test them all out, so let's try Motorsport. Okay, that would be an absolutely cool game to play with a racing wheel. And I think there's seriously something wrong with this thing, because nothing seems to be working. Oh, that sound. So this game called Pet Shop, it's absolutely weird. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell is this? <laughs> you know this thing is filled with crappy stuff. Speedy Way X. I'm trying to find some racing game that actually work with the wheel itself. Oh, come on. Oh, it takes forever. No, I think the reel is broken or something like that, because none of the racing games actually work with this. Space Castle. This sounds really exciting. But it isn't. This is just a Space Vader clone. Yeah. So I just want to be honest, like I'm quite disappointed with this freaking thing. <laughs> All right, so let's shut this thing down and let's do a quick teardown. And I must say like, I'm disappointed that this thing actually doesn't work at all. Kind of weird. I was wondering like, what is the reason this thing doesn't work? Because there are not a lot of components in these things normally. So let's remove the battery compartment. Let's remove the batteries because the previous one also leaked in here. That's the thing when you're going to get yourself a plug and play device. Always ask the seller if they remove the battery and the compartment is in good condition. Because I had in the past so many times that I bought something and yeah, we had a lot of issues in the end. But anyway, I'm more like, is this something like a quick, cool novelty you can pick somewhere or is this something you should avoid? I think when you're looking at the games in general, they are not great at all. They are basically garbage. But what is fun is just to check in the inside. So what you can see is that we cannot see a lot. So basically this is the bottom part of this body thing. So the battery compartment, everything has been attached over here. There is a PCB that basically connects the on and off switch with the battery compartment where you can shut down the power. But there is nowhere to be seen anything and there is no PCB at the bottom. So what we need to do is remove these three screws just to see what happens then. All right, so let's see if we can do a further tear down. Hope I'm not breaking anything. I will be shame to throw it away after the video or the tear down. All right, so that part has been become loose. Oh, but what you can see over here that we have another screw. So this is the me mechanism mechanism for like having the steering wheel effect. All right. All right, so let's remove all of the screws from the steering wheel. I just want to see what is in the inside, but unfortunate, I was hope, yeah, I was just see, hoping that we got like all of the bars at the bottom, but we didn't. So we need to remove all of them. Yep. So this needs to be the thing for opening it up. Oh, there we go. All right, so there we have like most of the components. Here we have it. Here we have it, my friends. So the way how they made this is quite interesting. Oh man, like look at this, how it is made. Like there are a lot of different parts. Can I remove this? 
No, I think they glued everything in position. Oh man, what a nightmare. Like, oh, they held glue this part. They held glue this one. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, when you take a close look at it over here, so the way how they made it is quite interesting. So we do have like the triggers basically having this own bracket where the, everything needs to be like moving in, including the PCB. The PCB has been hot glued over here and have been connected to the main PCB. And, and this is a quite interesting of this construction when you're looking at the main PCB, basically this, the steering wheel that also utilize all of the membrane and contacts for the buttons here we do have like the main board itself where it contains the chip of course when it comes to the blob so you cannot really see when and how well, let's take a look at this revision 02 it doesn't say anything does here says 50 and 1 the hx12109 but that's it like it looks like this pcb has some communication going on over here so they hit soldering the PCB straight into the PCB over here they're stacking them up but the way how they made it is quite interesting in my opinion so and otherwise go to the bottom power comes in here and that's basically how it looks but there's no way to find out when this thing was made whatsoever <sighs> so what do I think of this dream gear by wheel thing for the plug and play game system collectors, it's a fun novelty. But when you're looking at the way how it's made, I think that's just the most interesting part. The games are absolutely garbage. To be honest, I have no idea why the functionality of the rotation of the wheel doesn't work. Uh, it's kind of interesting because both don't work, like left or right, nothing seems to be working. Bar garbage games, uh, yeah, non-functional or not fully functional. So yeah, this is going to be more like something you can put in your collection and never look at it again. But well, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Hit that little bell. Become one of the biggest family. And I will see you in the next video.